guys welcome to the vlog i've got little jackson here in the carrier he's about to wake up because it's time for him to eat but this is literally the only way that he's been sleeping lately i'm gonna kind of give you guys an update on how he's been in a little bit but look at this little squishy guy my little squish he looks so peaceful when he's sleeping but that's about the only time that this little baby is peaceful so we're just gonna be hanging out today like always because we go nowhere so i hope you guys enjoy this vlog now let's go see what riley is up to what are you doing you're playing with all your toys out here say good morning goody why is your train inside of your tent i put on that beautiful dress you can't put it on over your jammies Come on, I'll help you. Wow. We got her that little dress for Christmas or for her birthday. It's so cute. It has Anna and Elsa. Can you do a little twirl? Yeah, do a little dance. So pretty. Oh my God, I washed my hair last night and it is not at all dried. So it looks like a crazy mess. But I wanted to give you guys an update on this little dude. Who left that door open? Close the door, please. Yes. <laughs> please. This is what every single day looks like. So Jackson is about a month and five days old. And if you guys have been following along, then you guys know that he has reflux and we've been dealing with that. So like two days ago, we changed out his reflux medication. He was originally on Zantac and that wasn't really helping at all. So now he's on like a form of Prevacid. And it's like the second or I think it's what the second day or the third day we give it to him like the third day Today is like the third or fourth day that he's taking the medicine so far We've only been giving it to him once a day and I don't really think that it's helping So we're gonna up the dosage to twice a day Which the doctor said was fine like you could either do once a day or twice a day So hopefully that'll help him feel a little bit better because right now he's just not a happy camper He's still not a happy camper and it makes me so sad and then because he's been so uncomfortable I even went and bought the windy so I don't know if any of you guys have I've tried this before i'm very scared to use it i don't know if you guys like even know what it is but it's supposed to like help them like pass gas because jackson is like always like trying to like poop and i always see like him uncomfortable and he's trying to like fart or poop so i don't know some people swear by this i have not even tried it so apparently it's like a little tube thing and i thought it was only one but it's like one per use they're disposable so it's like this device thing and it comes with like 10 of them and you like stick it up their butthole and apparently it's supposed to help them pass gas but i don't know i honestly do not know what to do with this i don't know if i'm gonna attempt it but it says like you have to like use coconut oil on the tip first i don't know i'll let you guys know if we try this this over here is all the stuff that we've been giving him by the way so we have the infant's mylocon and then these are vitamin d drops that the doctor told us to give him this is the probiotic that we've been giving him so he's got like a whole bunch of stuff that he gets in addition to his medicine are you gonna go outside with mimi this is why we can't let her into the kitchen area because all she wants to do is open up all the cabinets and just destroy everything my mom's house doesn't have like all of those like locks and stuff for the cabinets so she can get into everything can you close it please yes thank you Come on. this little guy is starting to wake up it's been like two hours since he last ate but i am happy because i was checking my email and i got an email saying that my order's been processed because i ordered his birth certificate yes can i help you this guy grunts all the time but yeah we had to um order his birth certificate because that's not something that the hospital does like automatically and i had forgotten about that so i needed to get his birth certificate because we're planning on baptizing him before we leave out of state so we're hoping to get that in so i can do the baptism and i'm not sure if i need a birth certificate to fly or not like with him i obviously have never flown with an infant before so i think like i'm pretty sure i need some kind of id for them so whatever i just ordered the birth certificate so i'm hoping it'll get here real soon are you going outside? <laughs> this is like her mishmashed going outside outfit. Come on, you gonna go outside? Yeah. You're gonna ah. what are you gonna do outside? A rock. You're gonna collect rocks? Yeah. Okay, have fun. Living here with my parents has definitely been challenging. There have been a lot of things 
that has been difficult obviously i'm not in my own space and it's just hard to get a routine down and just to feel comfortable when it's not your house but it has been so amazing to have riley like be able to like go outside and play with my mom my mom has been such a huge help like she has been a godsend because if not i think at this point i would have died already because this guy does not let me sleep last night was actually a pretty decent night once he actually fell asleep like around 11 he actually slept until like 2 and then he woke up and he ate and then i think he slept till like 4 30 so for me that's a good that's a good night that's what i consider a good night the only thing was that he slept in my arms or he slept right next to me no docatot no halo he did not want anything to do with that that's just what we did last night to survive but before i got him down oh my god there was a period of like an hour where i could not settle him to save his life like he was screaming bloody murder and there was nothing i could do to settle him i was rocking him i was bouncing him up and down I was giving him the pacifier trying to feed him like there was i was trying to do anything that i could think of to get him to stop crying and i couldn't so he was screaming in my ear for like 10 minutes straight and i was sobbing I was crying because it just sucks to not be able to like settle your kid like to not be able to make them happy So we have had periods with Jackson like that and it's the worst so pretty sure that's like a colic Period or I don't know what you would consider that but he has not been an easy baby at all And it's been really sad and it has been very frustrating So we're still trying to get a handle of that <laughs> Look at this little squishy baby Don't be sad I'm gonna feed you. Okay, okay, I'm gonna feed you, don't be sad. He only has one sock on because I had the outlet on him last night. See, like why can't you just be a happy camper? Just like be a happy little baby. Like there are only a few times when he'll be like just happy and content when he is awake. I'm sorry, don't cry. is always the hardest part of the day because as soon as I'm done feeding him he starts spitting up and he just starts being super uncomfortable look at that little face <laughs> you're so cute but I never know if he's just like still hungry or if he's trying to pass gas or like what he wants it's very frustrating yeah I've told you guys already that like with the whole reflux situation like it just makes me really sad and frustrated and it's almost at the point where like I just dread feeding him because I know that now until he's asleep again he's gonna be uncomfortable and spitting up and just not a happy baby so I kind of look forward to him being asleep so that he'll be nice and comfortable but I want to play with you I want to like have fun I want to read your book I want to put you in your play mat and then look every single onesie that he has like he already spit up after I fed him so he's always dirty and always wet so I have to be constantly changing him don't be sad our nickname for him is hunter the grunter because he spends his entire life grunting so this is little hunter the grunter hey there hey there bud I love baby yawns, they're my favorite. I'm pretty sure he gave me his first little smile today like for just a few minutes he was happy earlier today this morning and I was like playing with him I was talking to him and I started to see a little smile so I think they say that that usually happens between like four to six weeks so I think this little guy is starting to give a couple smiles even though he's not usually very happy oh there we go <laughs> and now he's got spit up so we gotta change you. This, you guys, is my life. This is my life. I really do not know how I would handle it if I was totally by myself. Like, my life is just gonna get really rough really soon when we move. <laughs> Riley's back inside. We're gonna be watching the different Disney World rides. It's like something she likes to watch for some reason. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it spooky? <laughs> Is it spooky? Look at these 
big old cheeks. <laughs> what are you doing? You can go on YouTube and search like all the Disney rides and you can like go through all of them. All right, we're gonna change this guy because he's all full of milk. We need to go get him an outfit. See what we can get him to wear. He's got all this clothes over here and like he always wears like the same thing, just like the little sleepers. But maybe I'll put him in this and I need like a pair of like pants. This should work. This is what Riley always wants to do. Anytime that we put him down, she wants to be right next to him. We gotta make sure that she does not kick him or squish him. You wanna be gentle with him? You wanna give him a little kiss? You're so sweet. A little kiss? Uh, That's nice. Uh, don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. <laughs> Any little noise that he makes, she says that he's crying. <laughs> what are you doing? How do you say little squish? My mama has to take his shirt off. We're gonna put it on baby brother. All right, so apparently this baby cannot wear pants because she wanted to steal them. So we're just gonna leave him without pants for now. Look how cute he looks. By the way, these little like changing pads are the best because you can just like put them wherever you're gonna be changing the baby. So we always keep some of these like around here and then there's another one like on the dock tot so that we don't have to like change the entire thing if it gets a little dirty. This is Jackson's new little play mat. So we've been trying to have him come over here for a little while every day. And then of course, Riley has to come right behind him to play. Okay, be gentle. <laughs> How do you put them on, baby? She like really wants to put them on him. Good job. She's like, where are his toes? How do you say hi to your friends? <laughs> you don't want to say hi to your friends? No. No? Riley, why are you taking off your socks? Why are you taking off your socks? I still love giving this one all the cuddles because she was my first little squish. She's my big squish, and now I have a little squish. Ow! This right? No, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yeah. You trying to put on your socks? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> you did it. How do you, how do you say hi to your friends? Okay. Say hi. Give them a little kiss. Say hello. Hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, not bye-bye. Just started. Oh, I love you. I love you. Bye. 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 See you later. My mom is here with the baby, and of course, Riley wants to be right next to her. Are you trying to give the baby a kiss? <laughs> Why are you distressed? It's so funny because normally when she sees my mom carry the baby, she says like, no baby, night night. Like meaning like put the baby down to go to sleep because she doesn't want my mom <laughs> carrying the baby. Yes. That was very nice. So in that sense, she's a little bit jealous. <laughs> That's so nice, giving Mimi love. Now we're watching the Frozen ride that they have at Epcot. I've actually never seen it, like I've never ridden it. So we put it on YouTube and this is how we're watching all of the rides. So if you ever need a cheap experience to Disney World, just go to YouTube and search all the rides and your kids can have almost just as much fun just watching all the things.
All right, so it's a lot later. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. I've had the baby on me for hours. Like I just was able to put him on the dock top for a second. My mom is out there watching him and she already told me that he's already waking up. But I had to put him down for a second. Like he had already been sleeping for a little while, like in my arms. So I needed to like go put some clothes on. My grandparents are coming over and stuff. So I needed to get some stuff done. But it's been rough because you guys saw like what it entails, like for me to get him down. Like when he's tired and he's fussy, like, I have to like do all these dances and try to get him down and the thing is like right now for the last few days like he'll fall asleep pretty easily if I put him in the baby carrier and like walk around for a little bit but at the same time like I don't want him to get used to like that being the only way that he can go down because like what if I don't have the baby carrier like what if I don't feel like wearing it at that moment like it's just I'm trying to get him used to just being able to like rock him it's just crazy because like I remember Riley being a very difficult baby and I remember us having a really hard time putting her to sleep and she didn't sleep and all that but this child is like at least like two or three times as difficult as Riley was and I didn't think that that was possible so it's just been really hard and like imagine like to see him crying like that and to see him uncomfortable like nobody wants that like I don't want that like nobody wants that like as his mom like I already told you guys like when he's crying I want to be able to soothe him and have him be happy and he's like never happy so he was in my arms for a while, I ate my lunch, now I'm gonna change and I was gonna try to do my hair but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. That's what every day looks like you guys, like that's what every single time that I need to put him down for his nap, that's what it looks like and if I try to like put him down once he's already asleep in my arms, he wakes up. I know that a lot of you guys have gone through stuff that's similar and thank you guys so much for like all of your comments and DMs and stuff on Instagram telling me that I'm not alone. Like some of you guys are DMing me and stuff and saying like, oh, you know, we went through something similar. It took us like five months to get our child's reflux under control. And I'm like, great, like five months, like really? Like I'm hoping that it doesn't take five months because I'm slowly losing my mind. Again, I'm trying to stay as positive as I can, right? Because that's what I try to do. I know that if God has placed this in my life, if this is our situation, there is a reason for it. He is making me stronger. Like. He knows that I can handle it, so I know that there's a purpose for this, but it's freaking hard right now, so I'm just doing my best to survive. On a much lighter note, I got these new jeans from American Eagle, and I am obsessed with them. They are my favorite jeans that I own because they're like crop on the bottom. You guys can see like the distressing on the bottom. I've been wanting a pair of like cropped jeans for the longest time, and I've never been able to find one that's like my size, that fits me and all that. So I love these. I'm obsessed with American Eagle jeans now. I bought like three pairs when they were on sale. This is the back of them. I think that they fit super cute. And then they're high-waisted, so you guys can see. They're like right below my belly button. So I think that they're super cute jeans. Really like them. And then this is like a very nursing-friendly shirt that I got from Amazon. If you guys want, I will link them down below. But I'm thinking of ordering like a couple different colors just because this is so easy to nurse in and like I just have like my nursing bra under this. So yeah, that's my mom outfit of the day and at least I'll be able to feel a little bit more put together. At least I'll have a little bit of sanity because when I'm in my pajamas all day, which is most days, I don't know, it just kind of like brings like my whole vibe down. Riley's eating some ice cream over here. How's your ice cream? <laughs> Yummy? I'm gonna put Jackson down on the floor. I fed him and right now, He's actually pretty relaxed, as calm as I've seen him in a long time. So I've been playing with him here in his little play gym. This little baby, that little squishy guy. I wish that he'd be relaxed like this more often, but that is not the case right now. I want his awake time to be happy where he's playing and he can hang out in the swing and play with his toys. But normally he is like crying and screaming. I know he did like a huge poop. So maybe he was just really, really uncomfortable and gassy. Plus he was hungry. But it seems like now he feels a little bit better. Squish is a lazy squish. <laughs> Come on, squish. 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 Come on, squish.
Chris, you can do it. You can do it. Put your head up, bud. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, little Chris. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Lift that head up. You got it. Are you spitting up? Come on. Come on. He really doesn't like this, but it's good for him. Oh, it's a lot later. I just finished nursing Jackson and brought him out here and Riley is playing with him. Are you counting his toes? Wait. You gotta be gentle with baby brother. Aw, oh, kiss. You wanna give him a kiss? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Are you calling him a little squish? You gonna give him a little kiss? Be careful. Look at this little dude. I don't know if you guys have seen his onesie yet because I had to change him. Look how cute that is. Hi, little baby. Your sister is crazy. Good luck in life. <laughs> Look at that little smile. You are never going to have a moment to yourself, buddy. Are you holding his hand? <laughs> Poor guy. 